this bottle is terrifying me. Oh yeah, please don't be broken on the bottom. Oh wow. Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I have returned to the creek that I went to very recently and had one of my most insane treasure hunting days yet. And I'm very excited to be back to see what else we can find. I'm gonna explore some new areas and I have very, very high hopes. So let's get to walk in this creek and see what kind of antique treasure and maybe some other weird stuff we can find. Well, thanks to the recent rains, the bottom of this creek is not nearly as disgusting as usual. It has cleaned it so it will be a little easier, I think, to find bottles today. Look at all the junk lying around. Let's see what kind of license plate we got here. Come on. Oh, that's a Georgia one. And based on that, that looks pretty old. Look at the text there, it looks a little different. That's kind of neat. And then as I was picking that up, I did notice right here, there's a design on this bottle. No words embossed. Not sure what that would have been. Maybe weird Sprite or something. And that's not very old. Last time I walked this creek, I had very bad luck with the hobble skirt coke. So let's see about this one. Patent office. So that's from the 50s or so. Oh well. All right, let's try our luck with this coke bottle right here. Yet another patent office from the 1950s. That would have been a bottle worth keeping right there. Though they are very common. It's an embossed knee-high. I think they're great looking bottles. Columbus, Georgia is the typical town name. That one's got a really nasty lip chip, so we won't hold on to that one. Uh, I saw right here though too, a nice old top there. I like to see that. Nice old whiskey. Something possibly here. Oh, dang, would have been a nice bottle. Thomasville Ice and Manufacturing Company. Big old bruise out of it there. Well, at least this one was a patent D Coca-Cola, 1949, as seen by the date code right there. Not going to be able to see it on camera. Pretty cool bottle, nice and complete, but I don't think I'm going to keep one that's that age. Here we witness the exact resting place of one of the hutches I found here last time. Alas, no hutch awaits us here today but perhaps in another location. This right here is exactly what we need, but with a top on it. Beautiful slug plate, Thomasville Ice and Manufacturing Company bottle. Broken right there, sadly. Could have made a good drinking glass. And now we view the resting place of the other hutch bottle that I found in this creek last time, and no hutch bottle in the same spot, of course. But it's nice to dream it could happen again. I was just thinking, I am about due for a marble, at least. And there's one right there. But it's pretty beat up. But it's still a beautiful color. And that's okay, though, because if you look right there, there's another marble that I believe is not. Oh, wow. That one's really pretty. Brown and white. That's cool. There's two right here. I wouldn't be surprised if there are more. But I love finding marbles, y'all. That's, that's a good find, in my opinion. A lot of little gravel for marbles to catch in. Is that one right there? Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a... Wow, that's a gorgeous marble. You probably sift right here for marbles. There's enough sticking out, I bet. That would be kind of fun. Just grab a little sifter and find a ton of them. It's kind of neat looking there. Oh, man. Nothing embossed on it. Nice old medicine looking bottle though. Check this out y'all. I have noticed something very interesting here that I didn't notice last time I was here. Look at this old glass coming down the bank right here. That's old blown in a mold crown top right there. Look at this. That came out of the bank. That's blown in a mold too. Look, look at this stuff. Oh wow, look at that top. That's, that's super old. That's like late 1800s right there. Okay, what's this right there? Something, something that was embossed. Look at that. What does that even say on it? Waycross, Georgia, something. Wow. Okay. 
This is very interesting. It's coming out of the bank right here. Do I need a probe? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's one of those. Look at that. Is it embossed? It's not embossed, but it's my first complete torpedo bottle or whatever they call it that I've ever found. Oh, that is cool, dude. And that's old. Check that out. Okay, do I need to pay close attention in the water right here, too? What's going on here? I'm going to set that down there for a second. Look, at there's more glass coming out of the bank there. Let's move some leaves out of the way. Take a look around. Look, at there's a bottle right there. That's broken, though, I can tell. What the heck? That's kind of a weird bottom, too. Let's see if we can get that out. Sorry, it's a lot of shadows. Oh, wow. Yep, that'd have been an old wine glass or wine bottle with that black glass type look. Oh, it's falling. What's that right there? Who's, is this complete? Oh, that's broken too. Interesting. All this stuff is nice old age. Ah, man, I would love to have a little probe right here. I don't have any scratching tools or else I could like try and scratch around a little bit, but I don't really have anything like that with me right now. Oh, look, there's more glass up there. And up there, too. Where's the source of it? It must be up there. Look at that. Every top right here is old. All blown in mold crown tops. Look at that old something right there. This is a really slick bank, but can I climb it? Oh, wish me luck. Because if you look up here... That's super modern. Look at this. That's old top there. And look at that. A broken straight side Coca-Cola has been sitting in the sun for a while. It's purple. Albany, Georgia. Ugh. Am I rubbing on poison ivy? I hope not. Look at that, more blue glass. Something over there too. Where's the stuff coming from? Um, I, uh, found where it is coming from. It's right here. And there's an abandoned house right next to me. And it looks like all this stuff got pushed up here. Oh my god. When they did maybe some sort of construction or something. Because there's like a mound here. So I don't know if they just pushed all this stuff up or... It doesn't look to me like it has like someone dug it um, oh wow look at that all of this is super old stuff I don't even recognize that thing look at that Thomasville Lyson Manufacturing Company what the heck what is that thing what Eldit CH France. What the heck? Something part? Pa Paris. Oh, wow. That's something from Paris. Let me hold on to that. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Look at this stuff. It's a whole pile of old stuff. Did all this just get pushed? Look how big that is. What's that little thing? Oh, okay, never mind. Look at this stuff. What the heck? Do I need to come here and dig ASAP? Oh my gosh. It's all insanely old stuff under there. Look at that, just under the leaves a little bit. Not embossed, but a little extract bottle. Very neat. Look at all this stuff. Is there anything complete here? Probably under the ground. This has Boston on it, and it is not Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Georgia. I bet you whatever that was is incredibly rare. Wow. I am blown away at how large of an area this is. This is a very large area. A very old glass. Also smells weird under here.
Look at that, something from Tifton, Georgia. I gotta get back here and dig, because this is crazy. Look at that stuff just all in there. Almost everything has a dang slug plate on it. What's this one from Dawson, Georgia? Yep. Wild tiles gotta come here and dig. What's this right here? Oh man, if only that had been complete almost. Thomasville. What's that there? Oh, that's a mug base hutch. Bainbridge, Georgia? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do a dig here. Well, I found a complete bottle, but it's not, uh, not quite what I would hope for. But it's an Atlas Preserve, Preserves Inc. or Preserves Co. Ketchup bottle. My first embossed ketchup bottle, and it's got some beautiful bubbles in it, and it's blown in a mold. So, that is pretty cool. I'll take that for sure. Oh, God. If I don't break it first. Yeah, it's kind of a cool bottle. It keeps going. You rake some leaves, and you see some bottles. I think the odds of finding a complete soda like this are probably pretty low. That was almost a complete one. Another Thomasville Ice Company. Um, but yeah, we are learning right now that this is where I need to come dig. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, what's this one? Is this one complete? Uh, almost. What the heck is that? Something from Kansas with a star on it. Hold on. Star Bottling Works registered Norton, Kansas. Well, that's a broken hutch right there. L.S. something. Bottler. Spartanburg, South Carolina. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that would have been a beautiful hutch. Wait, doggone second. Did Kyle just find a jug digging with his hands? Look at that. Oh, wait, I can think. I think I see where it's broken. Oh, it's hitting. Getting stuff down there. Should have known it was gonna be broken. Uh, look at I felt glass. What's that there? Whatever it is, the, the top's gone. What the equipment, Georgia. Oh my gosh. Equipment, Georgia bottling works. All the right age that we want. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? No. <laughs> It's broken on the bottom. I had the top and they almost never have the top. Dang it, man. Would have been a Thomasville. Okie dokie. See if I can get the rest of this jug fragment out. Oh, that doesn't even, I don't think that even goes to that. They're a totally different color. Huh. Okay. Anything else hiding down here for me? Well, y'all, I do feel a little bit crazy for leaving that spot, but I don't have any digging tools. So either later in this video or in a completely separate video, we're absolutely going to scratch around right there and see what we can find. Until then, let's keep walking the creek. And now we bring to you a disturbing tiny shoe. That was not meant to rhyme. Well, I, uh, I went to film this here fishing pole. Why is there a fishing pole in the creek? And I went to film that, uh, and then I, I noticed the other thing that's right here, which is an arm. Oh, yeah. He's a baby doll hand. Oh, does it have a head? Because that's its butt down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course it does. Of course it's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Looks like it's wearing lipstick. Dude, oh, it's got hair. Check out that stylish thing. This one had a button on it. That what if it like what if I pressed it and it still made whatever it used to say? Oh my god! It is not a wild cow video without that. I tell you what. Whew! I don't know if you can see it right there. There's a perfectly circular. Is that a bowling ball? Or is it a um <laughs> a a cannonball. <laughs> what the heck? 
Um, I'm going to see if I can get it out. It seems like it's really stuck in there good. Oh my god, it's a perfect giant... Is this going to blow up on me if it's a cannonball? It feels like plastic. It's... Oh, it's... It is a bowling ball. Wow. I've never found a bowling ball before. <laughs> that is a... That's a strange find. I guess I'm not hauling that out of here. It's too heavy. I am in a very different section of creek now. I was a little worried because I wasn't seeing much of anything older until I saw that top. And that does uh, give me some, some promise here. So hopefully uh, we can find some old stuff. What's this bottle down here hiding? Oh, wow. That is an AB beer. That's also the right age we're looking for. Nice blown in the mold beer bottle. Unfortunately, not an embossed beer bottle, but look at that nice blue color. Sometimes these little guys have welches or something on it. Oh, this one does have something. Ugh, it's really faint, so I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look at that closer. Alright, I looked at it closer. It says Eagle. Not entirely sure what that would have been. Cool little bottle. There's a lot of really modern junk, but look at that. That's not a modern top at all. What's that doing mixed in here? Also, what's that doing mixed in here? That's very old as well. I have to keep my eyes peeled right here. There's a bone. Anybody need a bone? A human bone? Just kidding, it's not a human bone. Probably cow or something like that. Kind of a strange dump layer in the side of the creek. Weird, because that piece looks pretty old. Other stuff I'm seeing does not look very old. Look at that. It's just like all stuck in the side here. Oh, that's weird. See like these bottles? This bottle's not very old. That's like a, and you got like an ACL soda type thing there. But then you look right there, and that's like an old looking, really old looking top mixed in. Unless this is just like flood flood stuff. That just seems too hard packed for that. That looks like older top kind of too. That's kind of interesting. Look at that though too. I mean that that's clearly very old. That's blown in a mold of cork top. Huh. That's weird. But look at that. That's a broken ginger beer top. So that's like mid 1800s old. Huh. Hold on now. What the heck? <laughs> we have, look at my hand, next to that. We have the Demijohn. Oh my God, can I get that thing out of the bank? <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> you, what's inside it? Oh, my hat's falling, hold on. Oh, I got sticks over top of me. Dude. What in the heck? Okay, this thing's just gonna like roll out into the creek, I guess. <laughs> look where it was. Oh. Okay, I gotta go look at it, hold on. This is uh, definitely up there on my list of strangest of finds. <laughs> I'm not hauling that out of the creek. No, thank you. But that is so crazy huge. Look at my hand on that. Okay, that's really weird. What did they even put in these things? Check that out. It's a little milk bottle. So far it just says half pint liquid, but will there be anything on the other side? Okay. Just half pint liquid. Sometimes these say store five cents or something like that. Um, and I noticed while picking that up, look at that beautiful little marble right there. There might be some more. There's another milk top right there. Good looking little area I'm walking up on. Look at that. Fishing reel. Finding a lot of fishing stuff today. And of course, it's not a creek walk without some sort of murder weapon. Here's a nice saw. If anyone needs it. It's actually kind of a Nice saw, it looks like it would still work. I might just have to keep it. And then I'm just walking on this bar. Look at that top there. That's a nice old one. 
and um, a car seat for whatever reason that would be in the creek there's a pile of really modern stuff right here so I'm not gonna get my hopes too high on this bottle but it does look like it could be maybe an interesting medicine nope just unembossed wait it is embossed it's Castoria so a screw top that's more could be late 30s 40s something like that I just wanted to let you know if you need a new microwave I got you. <laughs> I'll hold out of the creek for you. Consider it, consider it a gift. So I got a pretty little marble right there. Check that out. I do enjoy it. But the other clip that I want to get right here. What's going on with that? Oh, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta open that and see what's inside it, don't we? Get in the light there. Look, oh, it feels kind of heavy, like there is something in it. I just gotta try and get it open with one hand, so sorry. Here, uh, got it. So lighter. I got lighter. Oh, there's money. <laughs> oh God, that's uh, that's like. That's a, you know what, <laughs> I should, probably shouldn't even say it on camera, but that's the reason the lighter's there. That's, I think, a pipe for doing certain things with the lighter. I think. I might be wrong. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Have another lighter. And a pocket knife. So, we have two lighters. We have a really rusted old pocket knife. We have, I think, a thing that you smoke drugs out of. And some money. Let's see if it, is it all just pennies? I'm gonna wash this money off and see if it's anything cool. I'm gonna be crazy to, what if there's a wheat penny in it? I think that's everything out of here. That's, that's wild. Let's see what this money is. Yep, just a few pennies. A bunch of pennies. Wait, there actually is a wheat penny in there, isn't there? <laughs> what the heck? A wheat penny. What year is she from? I'm gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have to look at that real close in a second. I don't know if you can see it well on the camera. It's a 1958 wheat penny. That's crazy. <laughs> I did not expect that. That's kind of cool. That is a massive water moccasin. Dude! <laughs> wow. Oh, he's beautiful. What a big snake. He's he chonky. Look at him. Trying to get another shot of him there. I mean, I'm not going to get very close to him, but I was on the phone with my dad, and he just, I just, he walked right up on this little guy. I mean, big guy. Oh, he's so cool. All right, bud. I'll see you later. Look how crazy that is. <laughs> it's another one. Unfortunately, this one's unembossed, too. But isn't that crazy to find two of something I've never found in one day? I didn't film picking this one up because it didn't look like much. There's a lot buried, and then I pull it out, and look at that. Those are so cool. That round bottom. That is an old bottle right there. Well, well, well. It is baby number two for the day. Oh, oh my. I'm just gonna, just gonna, yep, just gonna yank it out of there. Come on, baby. Literally, baby. Oh, God. Why can't I get this one? Oh my god. Let's just give her a little wash here, why don't we? Yep, oh wow, look at that dirt. Ah, wow, look. Its eyes are rusted shut. Why am I finding babies with hair now? God. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh my God. 
What do I do with these things? Do I, do I take them or do I leave them? All I know is that one day I'm putting together a compilation video of all the baby dolls I have found. Because why does this always happen to me? This bottle is terrifying me because I see embossing on it. Oh yeah, please don't be broken on the bottom. Oh wow, oh look at that. That's a straight side Coca-Cola bottle from Valdosta, Georgia. Oh my goodness, not even a chip. Look at that, Wait, we gotta get that in some better light. Coca-Cola. Valdosta, Georgia. Ooh, look, a leech. There's a leech on it, just like all the other bottles in here. Man, that's a nice one. Oh, man, that is killer. I did not expect that in the section of creek I am in. And it was just caught up in a weird little spot. Probably been sitting there forever. That is killer. Beautiful. Pre-1915. Don't forget to check out this video linked on the screen right here from my last video to this very same creek where I had one of my most insane bottle hunting days ever. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any adventures. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.